Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wildly Graceful. Welcome to 7 o'clock in Arizona at night. It is 110 degrees out, so I'm going to try to make this quick. If I start dripping sweat and turning bright red, I'm okay. It's just really hot. Tonight we're going to talk about the under storage of the trailer, otherwise known as the basement. So let's take a look. The Coleman 17B comes with a plastic latch, not a magnet, which is really unfortunate, but it's okay. Cheaper model, cheaper stuff. You get what you pay for. The opening of this trailer is 20 inches wide and 10 inches high. So how did I manage to get all of our camping needs in this little tight space? To start with, I have my husband's small toolbox, just some basic screwdrivers, um, some caulking and stuff so we can fix leaks on the road, um, a plier set, socket set, basics. Um, an extra hose. Like I said, we haven't used our trailer yet, so we haven't used this one yet. This will be to clean our black tank with. Um, I have the sway bars in here until we get going. These things weigh a ton, and if it's really hot and the sun's been on them, you'll want to use gloves to get them off. It's like touching an oven. I have our sidewinder for our sewer hose. I have our setup basket, and I learned this from another camper to have a setup basket that's easy to carry around the trailer for when you land at your campsite. And when you land at your campsite, the first thing you're going to do is level your trailer from side to side and then front to back. Um, I have in here the chocks for the wheel, so after you get it level, um, this goes underneath the jack to keep it from sinking into the dirt. Um, gloves, because there's a lot of dirty jobs in this site. Um, surge protector, this is a 30 amp surge protector. We also have dog bones for every size possible. We've got a 50 to 30 and a, I don't know what this other one is. Um, regular gloves for just touching things that are hot or you don't want to get soiled. Um, bug spray. I like to spray around the tires and anywhere the bugs can get up into the trailer. A mallet to hammer down all those things that need to go in the ground like your tarp or maybe even your chocks are difficult to get in. Your quick connect hose which I will attach and leave attached once we get going. Um, your 90 degree brass line pressure regulator more gloves because apparently I thought gloves aren't enough I'm a nurse by the way so gloves is a big deal and of course the handy dandy lighter to light your propane tank easy walk around the camper set it all up then the next system is my genius system well I have the Camco Lego blocks that are in this nice carry case for leveling your trailer sure everyone has seen these it looks like little Legos and then our water hose which I have in this Christmas wreath case it's supposedly indestructible but I doubt that it is like a plastic tarp like material it opens up really big double zipper I have our entire hose ready to go um, all I and I have it connected both ends so it stays clean, no bugs, no dirt. Hook it up to the water line, hook it up to the trailer, and it stays clean and tidy. And I have an extra filter in here. The nice thing about this is when we winterize, I can hang this up in the garage. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I can leave it in the trailer too. Next, I'm going to invite Michael over here to come take a look at the inside of the trailer, what I did to maximize the very far back storage. Not too many average size Americans on an American diet can fit in this 10 inch wide, 10 inch by 20 inch wide hole in the trailer. So I connected them with um, carabiners and hooks 
so that I can easily just grab the hooks, grab the line, pull them, and they all come out easily. I can unhook them, leave the hook in there, and each box is labeled. So this box is um, water shoes and beach towels, picnic stuff, barbecue supplies, and then the other box I have is extra paper supplies. I have everything we need for an entire week of camping inside these buckets. These are the Sterilite under bed kits with the wheels, so I can just slide them back and forth. And that is how I've maximized the storage in our little tiny trailer. And it's super easy to push them in and pull them out. When we take them out, they slide right out. I'll disconnect. Leave this part inside the trailer. Pull this out. You can see it fits perfectly. If there was another inch wide, it wouldn't have fit. And off we go. Thanks for joining us. Next time I'm going to talk about the clothing storage since I had so many extra questions about it. We're going to do a quick subway into clothing. So I'll be right back.